Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer. Today we are unboxing a Lion Brand box. <laughs> Lion Brand yarn. Lion Brand had an amazing clearance. Um, I'm going to try to um, open this box without touching it too much because this... The feeling of the paper and the cardboard is like not... I'm having sensory issues lately with my dry skin, my, my eczema. Ooh, even that sound is getting to me. It sends... The only way I can describe to you is that it sends shivers into my bones. Like I cringe and then like my teeth start to hurt. And I know that that sounds weird to anybody that doesn't experience that. All right, packing slip. We have a packing slip. We do not have a receipt. So I don't, it might be on my phone. Let me check my phone. I got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so I feel like we're crooked. I don't know what happened. I had to change my battery and we went crooked. Let's adjust the tripod a little bit. I still feel crooked. <laughs> uh, that, that, that looks a little bit better. All right, so I had to adjust the tripod so the legs are uneven because something is off kilter somewhere. Okay, so anyway, I got, oh, I forgot what the number was. Four, um, 12. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I got 22 skeins of yarn. Some of them are, I think, small. I've never ordered before. In this box, they're supposed to be 22. <laughs> For the grand total of $40.42. And that includes the $7 of shipping. So the yarn itself costs $33.42. I pulled up the receipt on my phone. Because the shipping, the packing slip does not say the prices. However, the receipt tells me the grand total of all of the yarn. So if I bought three of three of like I bought three Mandela watercolors, the three of them cost six dollars and twenty seven cents. So I paid two dollars and something for each one of the skeins. So <laughs> I actually do. All right. Okay. I see what we got going on here now. We're going to start from the top, and I'm going to tell you what I paid for everything. Um, I ordered... I have never had most of these yarns. I've had a couple of them. I've never had most of them. I don't know if I like that. The matter will be fine. It'll be fine. I'm going to adjust my ears. <laughs> so I ordered three of the Lion Brand Mandala Watercolor Cakes. These are, and I think I have, I'm not positive, I think I have one of these in purple. Although, now that I'm feeling it, I might not have any of these. Let's stick it in my skin a little bit. But we know that that is a problem that I commonly have to deal with. Um, it has wool in it. So, these, the three of these together were $6.27 for three of these. So, these were two something a piece. Um, I, I never used the Mandela watercolor and I thought it was very pretty. This is the color tea berry. Um, it is 164 yards. It's considered a bulky number five. It is machine wash, gentle, lay flat to dry. It is 75% acrylic, 15% wool, 10% nylon. It is, it's not rough. Um, it's sticking to my Velcro skin a little bit. I, I have eczema. I always have burrs of skin that is sticking out. Always. So, and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see where my skin just peels. <laughs> and I have to constantly, constantly put, let me put lotion on while we're doing that. Because that might actually help with this review. Um, especially if I wash my hands too much, it gets really, really bad. So I apply lotion 100 times a day, I swear. Um... I especially this part of my arm, I get like really bad. It's like a huge callus 
Why here? I don't know. It's actually, it gets really, really bad to where it'll crack. <laughs> it's fantastic. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about my skin, but if I put lotion on, that will help to, it'll help me in touching things so that I don't get the cringe thing so much and so that I'm not sticking as much. But I also don't want to get lotion on my yarn, so I'm going to try to rub it in really good and talk to you guys so you don't turn this off because I'm rubbing lotion on my hand. So, <clears throat> Definitely feels better. <laughs> it, you can feel that there's wool in it, but not in like a scratch that definitely helped like so much. And my face, it doesn't, I don't have a problem with my face. So like, yeah, that's definitely nice. <clears throat> it's not like the softest yarn I've ever used, but it's not at all, it's not at all scratchy. And it's um, roving, so it's not, it doesn't have a twist in it. So it's very pretty. The colors are beautiful. When I get closer to the camera, it looks a little more purpley because my camera is trying to make up for the fact that there's pink on the, cam the camera, so it kind of like fades it a little bit more blue, but this is very accurate right here. So I got three of these. Very, very pretty. And they all look like maybe the, the dye lot is off a little bit. Let's see. Color 614, lot 16593. They're the same dye lot, but the color looks slightly different from ball to ball. It might be weather clearance out, or it might be just be the nature. See how this one doesn't look as pink, like the light part here doesn't look as dark as this part. See? But that just might be the nature of this yarn, because I don't know, I've never had it. I've never used it. Like I said, I think I might have one purple, but I might be wrong about that. The purple I might have might not be the watercolors, it might actually be the ombre. And since I'm not seeing it over there right now, then I'm not going to go digging for it, because it's behind Brunhilda. So three of those, really, I'm happy with that, especially at $2.00 just about two dollars a cake it's a really good price <clears throat> and then I have some of the summer nights in stash but I haven't used it but I want to use it this yarn is gorgeous and these were these were a dollar 74 each which is a good price because these are usually like a couple dollars this is the color ocean cove you see all that sparkle? Now this is a lightweight number one, or not lightweight. It's a super fine number one. Um, I sometimes will hold these together, very commonly I will hold these together with another yarn. This one's called Castaway. And what it does is it gives, especially if you hold it with a white, it will add like a little bit of color and a lot of sparkle to what you're working with. So a lot of times that's what I do with these is I'll buy these and I'll hold it together just to add a little extra detail to my yarn. This would be really beautiful held together with a three weight. It's not going to get you quite to the thickness of a four weight by any stretch. However, it will still give you the drape that you're looking for, but it makes like it adds just a little, oh, that's sparkly to a non sparkly yarn. And those colors beautiful. And I have some of the big skeins. I think they're on a cart over there. Again, I'm not going to go searching for them because <laughs> these come in two sizes. They have this size, which is 437 yards, or they have the big ones, which is, I think, double this size. And these are machine wash and dry. 82% acrylic, 18% polyester. And I'm confident that the 18% polyester is as the sparkle. So it's 18% sparkle, but I could be wrong about that. I think these are just so pretty. So these are Line Brand Summer Nights. Um, did I give you all the information? I believe so. So, dollar, what did I say? Dollar 74. That's a really good price for that. And then I ordered some of these, and these looked way prettier online. But I'm going to tell you that I have worked with faux mohair in the past and I made a gorgeous, a gorgeous shawl. 
and it was so soft and squishy and I was like why are there not more faux mohairs because I can't use mohair mohair is so oh it just it, I can't <laughs> it's so itchy to me uh, I get rashes when I use it and I have purchased mohair in the past I tried to use it I can't <laughs> at all uh, but this makes beautiful beautiful soft slightly fuzzy garments and I have not tried the lion brand yet uh, this is definitely soft and it has the appearance of mohair it is considered a medium number four even though the base of the yarn let me see if I can pull a piece out the base of the yarn is pretty thin but because the um the fuzz on it that creates the mohair look it it acts as a number four because you want the you don't want to compress and like jam the stitches together so that you lose the fluff because the point of using a faux mohair is to get this beautiful fluffiness and i know that it looks gross <laughs> it looks gross to me um but i promise this works up into a beautiful project and i Hopefully very soon can work some of this up into a project so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, these were $1.39 each. I got one, two, three, four. I got five colors of this because I wanted to. I want I like I don't like working all in one color. That drives me nuts. Alright, so these are 53% viscose, 37% acrylic, 10% nylon, machine wash, gentle, lay flat to dry. So that's pretty good. I would still probably hand wash this because I don't want to mat the fur that's on here. The fur. <laughs> um, I don't want to mat that. And sometimes with these furry yarns, like, that's very easy to do. I mean, my light is not in the right direction. We're getting weird shadows. There we go. I think I fixed it. So, I think I would still just hand wash this. And looking at the way that the yarn is sticking to itself in the skein, this is probably not going to be something you're going to be able to frog. So if you're going to use this, you're going to want to use it in something that you can very easily see the stitches. Like granny stitch would be beautiful with this. Or like um, a fillet type crochet where you do like double crochet, chain one, skip one. Or double crochet, chain two, skip two. Anything like that. Chaining, like doing chain loops. Anything like that would be beautiful. Um, just so that you can make sure you know where the stitches are. Because... You're going to have a hard time working with this because it's furry. This is the colorway barley. Ironically enough, barley has gluten in it, and I can't eat it. But I can I can crochet and knit it. <laughs> I loved barley when I was a little kid. <clears throat> I had no idea I was allergic to it. Uh, my mom would make beef with barley soup, and it was a family recipe that my granddad passed down to her. And uh, I miss it because I cannot eat barley. Barley makes me sick. And did you know some chocolates contain barley malt, which also means that it has gluten in your chocolate. You can't eat it, which one of my favorite chocolates, the Lint Lindor, contains barley malt. Can't eat it. Makes me sick. <laughs> so that was the color barley. I also got it in the color peach. This, this is the closest to a neutral I'm going to purchase. Um, peach. sage i knew that was gonna be called sage so these colors all in my opinion kind of go together and i would absolutely put them and probably will put them in a project together mauve and then denim those pretty and they're all really soft they feel like um what do they feel like they kind of feel like a poodle <laughs> not like a wiry poodle but like a you know a nice because some poodles that i've experienced in my life are not well taken care of and their fur gets like matted and like gross feeling i'm talking about like a well taken care of well groomed poodle that's what this feels like to me or a freshly shaven poodle that's what it feels like to me. Like a puppy. Not quite to the softness of, let's say, a Cocker Spaniel. <laughs> Cocker Spaniels are so soft. Um, but, you know, kind of poodly. 
I really like these colors too. So I'm excited to work with those. Now this, you can absolutely, and I don't know what I'm going to do yet. You can absolutely work this up by itself. Or you can hold this together with another yarn. It'll help you see your stitches better. Um, I like the look of mohair by itself. So I might just, and this is not mohair, it's faux mohair. It's FOMO. I don't know if I told you that. It's FOMO. Kind of like, fo people say FOMO, fear of missing out. FOMO. <laughs> and I don't know if they still have this on their website. What did I say I paid for this? What did I say? I keep forgetting because I need to go back to $1.39. How many yards is this? 328 yards. So I'm going to be able to make a decent size of anything. I might make a shirt. I don't even know. And then I ordered these because <laughs> they're cute. And I paid $3.48 for four of them. So I ordered four of this color and four of this color. These are cute. They're cute. They remind me of the little, um, the little red heart, you know, the little discs from red heart. Croquet. Croquette. Um, that's what they remind me of. These are called Mandala Craft Cakes. They're cute. I just wanted them. They're cute. Or even the little Amigurumi ones. But these are like little mini, little mini, Oh, look it. And there's a little hole so you can touch it. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a hole in the plastic so you can touch and feel. Yeah, that it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel bad. So these are lightweight number threes, 88 yards. Like I said, I got four for 348. So I think they were like 70 something cents. Um, machine washable and dryable. And this is the color under the sea. And this is the color Sweetheart. Oh, and it looks like there's a heart in the middle. Oh, my yarn loves me. They all look like that. They all look like that. So I ordered four of each. I ordered four of each. Because I figured that was a pretty good price. So $3.48 for 88 times four. So like almost 300 and something yards. I'm not going to math right now. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. And then I ordered four of these. And I've never used this yarn either. It's beautiful. And I've seen this on the shelves of Joann's. And I fell in love with it. But it was expensive at Joann's. And I don't remember how much it was at Joann's. But it was not a price I was willing to pay. I think it was like 6 $7. This is the Landscape Fusion yarn. I got four of them for $9.76. Um... They're 109 yards, a medium number four, 100% acrylic. These remind me the feel and the coloring of a yarn at Hobby Lobby called, what is it called? I don't know if I have any more. I don't think I have any more. There's a yarn that's very similar to this. There's for, it's color play, I think. I think it's color play. It's very similar to this. It's more shiny than this, but it's got the same like roving style fuzzy feel to it. These are the colorways Fort Tri Fort Tryon. Fort Tryon. And like I said, they're 100% acrylic. They say that they are a number four. They look like they could be on the edge of being a number five just because they're roving and they will, I would probably treat this more as a number five and because it's also only 109 yards for 100 grams, that leans it more towards a bulky five. <laughs> but yeah, it's very, the colors are very pretty and I'm excited to try these, use them. They're very, it's very soft. It's very soft. Um, and even though it has like a fuzziness to it, it's not sticking at all to my fingers, like at all. It feels very nice. The thing I don't like about these, and I've seen it in store as well as in person, once it comes out of the plastic, the skein, and the same thing with the Hobby Lobby yarn, the skein tries to like come apart like it's rolling. 
so that the insides are coming out one side. It's caving in one side and it's pushing out the other side. So that's the one thing that I don't like because this is a slippery yarn. And I'm probably gonna get I'm probably gonna get yarn barf when I try to take that out, but I really like the colors. Very, very bright, bold colors. Very soft. It's only 109 yards, so I don't know what I'm gonna make with only buying four of them. But yeah, totally. I haven't ordered from Lion Brand in a very well, it's been a while. Um, I tend to only order from Lion Brand when they're having a really good clearance because Lion Brand does really good clearance, as does Premier Yarns. Um, and I like try. and now the problem is, is a lot of times when they have the clearance, you can't buy this yarn again because it's been discontinued. Maybe the colorway has been discontinued. I don't know. Or they're discontinuing the FOMO, which seems to be the case because like all the colors of the FOMO are clearanced out. Um, but I mean, it's okay because I like trying stuff even if it's the only one and only time I'm going to try it. And I have been looking for, because like I said, I worked with FOMO, not this specific, but like fake mohair yarn. Um, I've worked with it in the past. I made a beautiful shawl and then I couldn't find any more on the market. And I actually told you, this was a couple years ago. Um, I told you guys about it and a couple people were like, well, so-and-so makes faux mohair and so-and-so makes faux, faux mohair. And I couldn't find it on the market. Couldn't find it in stores. Couldn't find it online. And so when I saw this on clearance, I was like, okay, I'm going to try that out because I like the feel of the fake mohair. And I like working with it. I like the way the I keep showing you the lighter colors, but the darker colors show up so much better. Um, I like the way that the projects work up when it's done. You guys are probably shocked my fingernails are painted, huh? <laughs> I think it's the first time I've painted my nails since I've had this channel. I'm not. I'm not one of them girls. I'm not foo-foo. I don't do stuff like that. I barely wear makeup. Um, which Mr. Cinnamon has always known and has always appreciated me for my au naturel look. Because he thinks I'm pretty. <laughs> so yeah, 20, what did I say, 22, yeah, 22 units. My, sh my shipping thing actually says that. 22 pieces for $33 plus $7 in shipping. Totally, totally amazing deal for what I got. I was totally happy with that. So, yeah. I don't know if Lion Brand still has anything on clearance. Like I said, this came super fast too. What day did I order this? Uh, April 4th and it came yesterday the... No, yeah, it came yesterday the 10th. So, I mean, that's super quick. That's super quick. So, thank you so much for watching our Lion Brand unboxing. I know it's a rare thing on my channel to show Lion Brand. Don't get me wrong. I don't dislike Line Brand. I do like Line Brand. They make some beautiful yarn. We just know that I tend to prefer Premier Yarns for a lot of reasons. I mean, they're really close to my house. <laughs> they're five hours away. Um, I have a good working relationship with Premier Yarns, but Line Brand does have some beautiful yarn. Beautiful yarn. And it's funny because I ordered this and then Jada and Stitches bought some Line Brand yarn and I was like looking at her yarn. I was like, oh, I should have got some of that. <laughs> <laughs> which usually happens with Jada's stitches and I was happy because Jada, Jada has not done a shopping video in a long time where she purchased yarn um because you know pandemic and all that stuff or whatever and so I was like I was so happy to see her video I was like I was like yay <laughs> so yeah totally line brand does have good yarn though um they do have good yarn they are probably I know that I don't order them so frequently but they are like probably my third, I'm going to say my third favorite yarn because right now I'm really digging the Hobie yarn a lot. So I'm going to say they're my third favorite. Um, below that is like Hobby Lobby and, and Michael's. But the reason I shop there more often is because it's convenient. It's close to me. I also don't like Lion Brand's prices in stores. So that's why I don't I don't shop for a lot of Lion Brand because I, I find it to be expensive. But like I love Lion Brand clearance. Love Lion Brand clearance. If you want to know when Lion Brand is having a clearance... Um, sign up for their emails on their website. They send you emails and they let you know when they're having any kind of sale. And also, um, 
go check out Rose at Rose Likes Crochet's Facebook group because she's always the one who lets me know because I don't read my emails because I have too many of them. <laughs> um, she's she's how I know when Lime Brand is having a clearance sale because she posts it in her Facebook group. And also um, Kim at Affordably Crafty is really good at showing sales and stuff. So if you guys want to keep up on the sales, Creative Grandma usually lets you know for Lime Brand and Premier Yarns and affordably crafty Kim, she lets you know like all of the deals and steals in the crochet world. That's her tagline. <laughs> and uh, freebies and stuff. And she lets me know when like beads are on sale for Juju. And she she's like she keeps us in the know. She posts on all the Facebook groups and her own Facebook group. She is very knowledgeable and she's very frugal and I love that about her. So she always knows when something's on sale or clearance. Check her out. And Rose likes crochet. So with that. That's how you know when there's a sale. So don't don't get mad at me because I didn't tell you because that's not my content. I just show you what I purchased and what I made. <laughs> All right guys, I'm going to let you go. I will be back tomorrow. I need to check my planner and see what I'm supposed to film for tomorrow because I don't remember at all. And I don't see anything on my desk that's ringing a bell. So <laughs> uh, this is the life of a podcaster. I will see you tomorrow and uh, I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye guys.